What is the most important aspect of the non-dual understanding? Well, I'd like to give my two pennies worth. It's love. Love is an interesting word insofar as a lot of people wouldn't be able to answer what it means. Most of us, I would assert. Because there's love in a romantic sense, which hints at desire and romantic love. But then there's love in a parental sense, where obviously the context is different. And it's that sense of willing to sacrifice yourself for the other, unconditional love. There's a love of people you create something with for your friends, a love of nature. Love has all these different connotations, so it's difficult to pin it down. But I like coming back to the parental idea because with parental love, there's this sense of unconditional love, unconditional acceptance, and that stems, at least in part, from a sense of this other being has come from us. And so we are, they are part of us. And I think the beautiful thing about the non-dual understanding, which points to the fact that whilst on the human level, we are unique, we are never to be repeated before or after, our experiences are totally unique to us. On the being level, we're all the same. We share one being. A being could also be called life or consciousness. And so if we share a being, the implication is that it's not just our child or our family that is connected to us in such a deep, profound way. It's the whole of humanity. And not just the whole of humanity, every living being. And not even just every living being. Everything that arises within the non-dual space, the space of awareness, this space in which everything seemingly appears and fades away. So all forms come, all forms go. And this to me is the most important part of the non-dual understanding. A lot of people talk about suffering. And I think that's valid, but what use is ending suffering if you're still going to be a cantankerous sharp critical person if you're not going to share that lack of suffering with your fellow suffering beings and in my experience as the suffering reduces of course you're more inclined to be loving and if you look at the world around us which is based on a materialist separate ideology and it is an ideology, but it's a belief. It's not based on, on fact. It's a belief, just in the same as religion is. Then we see the result of that, which is war, conflict, disagreement, frustration, emptiness, all those things. So, of course, like the non-dual understanding is this recognition of the interconnectedness and the oneness of everything. And that recognition has a beautiful momentum to it insofar as when I talk about being more loving or loving, it happens of its own accord. The understanding, the recognition, when internalized, can't help but impact your behavior and become more loving. And also, that's why I think it's so important to walk your walk, or rather walk your talk. I think it's so important. So to me, the most important aspect of the non-dual recognition is love. Love for all of reality, because it's all us and we're all it. So it goes both ways. Love. Fear, and Elizabeth Kubler-Ross said there are only two emotions, love and fear. I like that. Love speaks to our connection. Love 
acknowledges our shared being. Fear is a direct result of separation. And so for me, the most important part of the non-dual recognition is recognition of our shared being, the love that that entails, and expressing that in the world as best we can. And that's why I think the non-dual is understanding is so important in its ability to transform the way humanity, and as a result, the planet on which we live, could exist if this went from being a fringe recognition to mainstream, which I think it eventually will. In my view, it has to, because it's definitely got momentum. And I think once we stop paying so much attention to belief and go with our experience, how do we actually experience things? Is there an inner, inner and an outer? Is there something that is definitively separate to us? Or is everything appearing in the same place? Can we touch into that sense of being? Can we claim it as personal as opposed to impersonal? All those things come back to love. Love is everything. And the non-dual recognition points at that very clearly.